It's actually very interesting, the masculine experience, because I like to believe that most men on the planet have lived a semi-similar timeline. All of us as men experience a very similar human paradigm. And that is that most men are born and you're not important. And then you go to school and you fall in love with some girl in school and she fucks someone else. And then you realize that all the 19 year olds you want when you're 19 are with older dudes because they have cars or whatever, whatever. And you go through this experience of getting your heart broken and losing your girlfriend, et cetera, et cetera. And many men latch on to some average bitch or accept they're gonna have their heart broken forever. But some men decide to become so big and important and strong and irreplaceable that they never have to suffer heartbreak again. Because every man deals with heartbreak and deals with sadness, but how you use that energy is the differentiation, the differentiator between humans, right? You are feeling the same pain that many men have felt. Every man out there has had his heart broken and understands how difficult it is as a man. But the difference between me and you, and perhaps some of the other men out there, is that certain men take that anguish and take that sadness and understand that energy could not be destroyed, it can only be converted and use it to build themselves into a man of absolute standing and power, as opposed to sitting around jerking off like you just told me you do. You are a waste. You are wasting your energy. Heartbreak is unlimited motivation. If I was heartbroken, it's been a very long time, but if I was heartbroken, I'd be in the gym every morning. I'd be a beast. I'd be running. I'd be working. I couldn't sleep. I'd be an absolute animal and you're heartbroken and what are you doing? Jerking off like a fucking dumbass. The difference is as a man, you must build yourself into a man of credibility, which means to build yourself into a man of standing, we all start in a very, fairly similar position. I became me through tedious, arduous, difficult, never ending work. You are wasting your time. You know why God made your girl leave you? because he wanted to show you that you ain't shit. He wanted to show you that you are human and you're fallible and that you're very replaceable. So he decided to make you fall in love with a girl and he decided to make her leave you to show you that you are a dickhead. Now it is your job to look at the board, understand what's happened, say, I understand God, I deserve that. I'm glad she left me and I'm sad because I am a dickhead and do something about it. Because if you refuse, if you ignore God's message, next time you fall in love with a bitch, guess what he's gonna do? He's gonna make her leave you to remind you once again that you are a dickhead. Every single man out here, if you're upset that your girl's leaving you, God is reminding you that you aren't worth shit. You need to get up and work so hard that even in the eyes of God, he is proud of you. God loves his creations, which show him their true potential and beauty. By getting up and trying your absolute best and becoming a man of moral standing, he will reward you and bless you. If you continue to be a dickhead, God will remind you you're a dickhead. So God just broke your heart on purpose to show you that the way you're living your life and the man you are simply are not good enough. What have you changed since? Nothing, fucking nothing. You think God's gonna forgive you for no reason? You think God's gonna go, it's fine. He hasn't learned his lesson. He hasn't changed. He isn't even trying very hard. He's not up early in the gym. He ain't doing nothing. It's fine. Let's just let him fall in love and let's make sure the girl doesn't fuck someone else on OnlyFans this time. No, sir! This is gonna repeat endlessly. It's a cycle that will not fucking change until you take the message from God and become the man you're supposed to be. You must stop being a dickhead. You deserve what's happened to you. You deserve how you feel, all of it. When I was 20, me and my girlfriend broke up. I was with her for four years. I, I, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't, and this is before social media. You couldn't just chase a bitch. Like, you, that was it. She's gone now. Like, she moved. I didn't know where she lived. That was it. And I couldn't sleep. Now, I, it wasn't like I was crying my eyes out, but I was just, where's my, my hoe at? I couldn't sleep. Need something else to do. Need something else to do. So I thought, fuck, I'll hit the gym at 6 a.m., hit the gym at 3 p.m gym at 8 p.m. I had nothing else to do but fight. So I took all that trauma, all that heartbreak, and I molded it into becoming a world level combatant, right? What did we talk earlier about how trauma can mold you? How trauma can be a fantastic thing. Heartbreak, depression, sadness, these are all fantastic motivators. I'm telling you why they're a fantastic motivator. You go to a guy who's heartbroken, he has all the motivation in the world to send 300 text messages. <laughs> he has the motivation, he's putting it in the wrong place. That's 300 cold emails you could be that, sending yes, to someone to pitch a business. That's a lot of money you could have made. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, some of the, the greatest accomplishments in my life have come after a heartbreak. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, Absolutely. It's, it's that fuck, I call it fuck you energy. Take that and you're like, I, I, because some guys will get butt hurt about that and they'll sit there and they'll wallow in self-pity. I've always thought the correct application of that energy is, okay, prove that she made a shitty mistake. Mm -hmm. Go out and become fucking millionaire. Go out and become a kickboxer. Go out and become mm -hmm. a porn star, whatever. And then she's going to look around when she's 50 pounds heavier in a year's time. You're like, motherfucker. Ah, I left him. I let him go. Yeah. And, you can, and, and internally, yes. the, uh, be happy. my ego could be like, yeah, I got you. Life, <laughs> life's life's going to hurt you and how you use that pain is completely and utterly up to you.
you can use that pain to galvanize yourself as a man and become a better man you've ever been. I'm not saying that I'm only successful because of some chick. I'm saying that every single time that I was heartbroken, I never wasted a second. I was never wallowing. Especially as a young man. We, talk, we talked about this on the show. You're going to get your heart broken yeah. as a young man. I've had it happen to me. Yeah. We've all had it happen to us. And, and it's not even about anger towards a girl. Me and Tristan talked about this on the podcast that we did together, Gentleman Game. It's seven years later. Because as a man, you're going to get your value later. Yes. Right. So if you use that energy to put all that work in, these girls, they come back around. And I love to see them come back. Oh. Not because I'm in love again. Just because it's like, you know, I told yeah. you yeah. so. Yeah. No, I, I said this. Like anybody who tries to get revenge on a woman oh, on a, a wrong woman way. it's a you're an, that, that's incel energy that's that's a wrong way of looking at it the only revenge you can get on a woman who breaks your heart is success success is the best revenge just level up slowly and when she messages you you got two choices you can either say sorry baby you're not my type anymore boom you win so that's the answer to the question put, put a plan together for the heartbreak if it comes and make sure that plan is constructed everything we've been saying on this podcast is true trauma's gonna come pain's gonna come you have to use it women i didn't want to lose them and they weren't listening so i walked away and they didn't chase me and i lost them but that's